And welcome to your Go Market Update charts of interest for today, Thursday, the 27th of October. Max Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in the markets now. Of course, overnight we saw US equities close mixed, Dow scraping positive territory whilst the Nasdaq had that hangover from those big tech earnings from Microsoft and Google, which missed expectations and pulled the Nasdaq and the S&P down. Interestingly, Meta, or Facebook as it was known, was absolutely thumped after earnings, down about 20% after their earnings report. US futures, however, despite that are higher in Asia, we've seen quite a pop, uh, with the Nasdaq up around 0.7 to 0.8%, and the S&P and Dow futures following. Asian indices are trading mixed, with the Nikkei looking slightly shy, but overall quite positive. The ASX is having a good day at the office, up around 0.7%. European equity futures, however, are trading slightly to the downside, but of course there's plenty of hours to go before they open this afternoon, so things may change before then. US dollar index again looks under pressure, trading lower throughout the day so far. Gold is testing 1675 resistance, all remains range bound, but it is testing the top of that range at the moment, and copper futures are testing 350. We've seen a little bit of a breach of that in Asian trading this morning. The VIX is edging below that key 28 level that we've referenced before. Bitcoin has broken out to the upside from that 18 and a half to 20,000 recent range it's been trading in for some time. It'd be interesting to see if that's held. It's had a couple of pops before, but the actual close over 20,000 is positive. Lots of stuff going on today for the market to digest. We've got the ECB monetary policy statement. We've got US GDP. Weekly jobs, PC and durable goods, making for a busy day today in the US particularly. And of course, we've got major earnings going on. We've got MasterCard, Apple, Amazon, McDonald's and Merck amongst the highlights. So a really big day to day today. And again, if you train the NASDAQ, there may well be a significant move after the bell with Apple and Amazon both playing after hours reporting. Couple of charts of interest for today. We've seen a massive pop in LYC. You see there uh, the move today, right up to the 200 moving average. This is a combination of a quarter report and a significant move up in rare earth prices. Generally, anyway, have seen this move up significantly since open. It's trading towards the high of the session. Trading around that 200 MA now, breached any resistance that has been in place. So we expect some potential follow through on this really difficult to pick a level uh, but we may see a pause possibly around about this 887 level and uh, being the next kilo we can see it's traded around this level a few times over the previous months so lyc looks very very tasty today with that us dollar weakness we are seeing the euro trade above parity there's the parity line there we saw a big shift up yesterday through this resistance here at 99.89 uh, and then of course it was just a matter of time before we broke parity on that so we got that move through you see in asia we're pretty neutral at this stage we haven't had a great deal of movement to the upside since asian open but we see possibly another 50 to 60 pips up towards that 101.38 level as potential but remember of course lots of data coming out today as well as more earnings so it could be a high risk day in terms of markets moving away from where they are now trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now